One of the most horrific stories that uh, I've seen, I'm sure you've seen, you've seen the video, is of, uh, is of this guy, we think it's a guy, who uh, walks up to a police car in Compton, California, and basically, uh, point blank, shoots the two uh, officers in the, in the car. I think both of them uh, are, are still in hospital, uh, one of them at least struggling uh, for their lives. It, it's not only that, that somebody would, would do that. Uh, of course, we saw the same thing, by the way. People, it seems amazing to me that people don't remember this. We saw the same thing, police being targeted, ambushed, uh, after the Black Lives Matter movement was launched uh, in, what was it, 2015, um, during the demonstrations back then, and uh, there was a huge spike in, in murders of policemen. There was, the, there was the Dallas, but there were several locations around the country where this has happened, where, where people directly targeted police for basically execution, for, for killing, uh, an attempt to kill them, attempts to kill them and, and sadly, successfully killing the police. Um, and, and this is not like gangs trying to intimidate the police or trying to, trying to uh, this, uh, or, or trying to, uh, as part of them defending their turf or trying to send a message or anything. That this is just people targeting the police for murder. And maybe even more horrific, well, it can't be more horrific, but maybe a a as horrific as the murders themselves were, the attempted murders on these two police in Compton, was the, uh, the, the videos that showed people uh, chewing this, blocking the hospital, um, and, and people saying on video as they're filming this uh, that they hoped the police were dead, uh, you know, and this is this follows on from the uh, from from the fact that uh, in places like Washington D.C. doing some of these demonstrations, people were advocating for attacking the police, for killing police, for for, for going after police. And and this is it. It just truly is, truly is uh, horrific. Somebody says there's no applaud option under the video. I see the applaud vo version on the old videos, not this video. But the old videos, I think, I think after it posts, you get the applaud version. I mean, this is truly a, a, a sign of, of, you know, civilization, uh, civilization uh, in decay. When not only a, a, a police being targeted, the representative of the law, the representatives of, of, of government are being targeted for, for cold-blooded murder. Uh, there are people who support this. And there is a kind of, I mean, there's no outrage about this. I mean, I, I understand the outrage when a policeman uh, shoots somebody or, or kills somebody. Usually it's not in cold blood. Usually there's some mitigating factors. Putting a knee on somebody's neck is, is the way they did in Minneapolis. I don't think is excusable, but it's not premeditated in the sense of, of, of this. Uh, this murder, you know, shooting the guy in the back seven times seems uh, absurd and nutty and and crazy. Uh, it, but it again, it does not. It's not walking into somebody and just putting a bullet in the head. This is truly horrific. And and the idea that this is not a big deal, that this is not the biggest deal right now, that that there is a that there are people out there advocating for killing police and and much of the mainstream media. I, you know, it's, I wouldn't say ignoring it, but it's certainly not giving it the, 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 the space that it deserves and not being critical of, uh, of the people that uh, are doing this and not making the connection, purposefully trying not to make the connection between this and the whole atmosphere of writing, of violence, and of, uh, of the protests themselves, the protests themselves that are not just saying, and this is on Black Lives Matter, not just saying, Enough with police brutality. Not even just saying. There's a lot of racists among the police force. We need to eradicate racism within the police force. But when Black Lives Matter goes out there and when the media goes out there and when intellectuals go out there and everybody goes out there and says the whole system is racist and corrupt. Everything about the American system of government, everything about the American system is racist and corrupt. It's all geared towards destroying the lives of, of blacks. It's all geared towards killing blacks. And the cops are just representative of the system. So at best, 
we should defund them or actually eliminate the police, which these people really believe in. And at worst, and this is granted rare that anybody calls for this, but it is sometimes debated and discussed, kill them. Because they represent the system that is inherently corrupt, inher well, worse than corrupt, inherently racist, inherently enslaving, inherently evil. And given that they are representatives of it, it's okay to kill them. Black Lives Matter needs to be criticized for all of that. Black Lives Matter is, is that is an evil proposal that is only going to lead to bloodshed, and it's wrong on every count. And it's going to alienate. It's going to alienate any rational person. Would be alienated by such rhetoric. Really? You want to eliminate the police? Well, if you want to eliminate the police, this guy's coming out of helping you by shooting a few. And, and I think Kyle says Black Lives Matter is losing support. I think that's right. I think it ha it's lost support because of the riots, because of its defense of rioters. It's lost support because of its attitude towards the police, defunding police, eliminating police departments. Americans... Even Americans who think they're real, big, racist problems in this country don't believe that the solution is dismantling the country, dismantling the police, dismantling the system of government. As long as Black Lives Matter advocate for those, that is the solution. As long as Black Lives Matter supports these far-left crazy ideas, not supports, initiates them, they will lose support. I, I've said many times, and I'll say it again, this country is not far left. This country does not support the far left. Any whiff of Biden caving into the far left reduces the possibility that he will actually win. So, it's, it's only because people believe that Biden is a centrist. That he is leading in the polls and has any chance of beating Trump. If, if Trump succeeds in convincing the American people that Biden really is represented by Black Lives Matter, that Biden is Black Lives Matter representative in government, that Biden is as far left as they are, then he will lose. Biden supports BLM the way almost everybody out there seems to support BLM is against police brutality, against racism, and so on. But if people think that Biden supports defunding the police, if people think that Biden supports eliminating police, if people think Biden supports violence against the police, or people believe Biden supports dismantling the entire American political and economic system, they will not vote for him. That's not where America is. It's not where America is. I think the shooting and the response to it is is indicative of of how far the left has gone and how nutty it is and how ultimately how the left will self destruct and how the left is self destructing. C K J C is a Christian. How the left is self destructing, and uh, the question then is, what comes after that? <laughs> What comes after that? Where do we go from there? And I, I don't know, but it's, it's scary. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. 
But but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing. Whether you're looking at this, uh, and and you know the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at youronbookshow.com slash support, or on Patreon, or Subscribestar, or Locals, uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value, hopefully, you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.